All right. Hey guys, it's Tanzania, aka Tanzi La Trophy, coming at you with another video. And in this video, guys, I'm dyeing my hair jet black, and I wanted to show you my favorite type of dye to go jet black. Now, backstory: my hair is naturally between 4B and 4C, mainly 4C, and I actually text laxed it. So now it's kind of like a four. I don't know. What do y'all think? Uh, and guys, the reason my hair um, looks thin right here is because this used to be blonde. I had um, dyed it with permanent blonde dye by another brand. And um, so now I hush. Sorry, guys, my dog, he, he, he trying to mess with me. Chill out. Chill. I'm talking to you. Chill. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to show you how I dye my hair. Uh, the dye I'll be using is Soft Black. Y'all can see that. By Revlon. Now, guys, Revlon is not a ethnic type of dye. Like, if you were to use the blonde version of this, it probably wouldn't lift your hair. But the jet blacks and the blacks and the browns, they work really well with ethnic hair or black hair or Afro-American Afro or African-American hair. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But this works for our hair. It works for my hair, whether it's text slacks or natural. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what's in it. There's this. Um, the conditioning packet. Yeah, this is like the developer thingy, I think. This right here is the color. I think it's the color. My only free coloring. Yep. Yeah. And here's some gloves and instructions. I've used this before. If your hair is um, relaxed or text lax, you need to use it for like 20 to 25 minutes. If it's natural or resistant gray, 30 to 35 minutes, okay? So, yeah. And it has no ammonia, colorful silk, beautiful color, one in USA, 3D color. And it really is nice, guys. So now, I am going to use some Vaseline or petroleum jelly. It's petroleum jelly. And basically, just take it and go around your hairline. See, guys, I go a little bit lower on my hairline, mainly because... Um, I get it everywhere, so I'm, I'm going to basically cover my face in Vaseline. So I'm just going over my ears, the outside, some of the inside, and I'm good for getting it on my neck, but don't worry guys, I'll be able to take this stuff off. And the thing about it, I can go blonde. But I have to use permanent dye as long as my hair is um, text lax. I can't just do any colors unless I bleach it. And then once you bleach hair, you cannot relax it unless you're like a professional. You got something cause to like Olaplex or something. The kind that you cannot get unless you are um, licensed. Because I see YouTubers that are licensed. They can, they can get it. Olaplex will only sell to them that certain product. But they do sell other products to the public. So now, I think I messed up my eyebrows. No. And guys, I'm coming bare face except for the eyebrows. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, keep watching. I'll show you how I apply it. Alright, guys. So I put the coloring inside this white bottle. 
Now I'm going to shake it up. Now I'm going to shake it up really good. And guys, this does have a little nozzle that you have to cut open, which is good. So when you shake it, it won't go all over the place. I try to shake it really good. So now I'm going to take my scissors. And excuse the hair, guys. I do all kinds of weaves and stuff and, and wigs. So I got hair extensions on my hands. So please excuse that. So now, and guys, you can take this out the bottle and do it that way. But uh, I'm not going to do it that way. Just gonna place it on there and just go over my hairline. And guys, I'm looking in the mirror on this side. And just and guys, this is processing your hair like it's risky but if i want to um go black go back to a blonde color i would just have to use color oops to get this out because my hair is um already blonde and it was blonde like i said from the permanent black dye And guys, I do, the reason my hair was already black is because my hair, like I said, was permanently dyed, with blonde dye, and then I put a semi-permanent rinse on it. That's temporary, which is the Adore um, Jet Black, which works really good. I would suggest that if you don't want to do permanent color. And I might show you guys at the end what it looks like. And I'm just moving it in there. And guys, be careful not to get this on you. I'm wearing this out outfit because it doesn't. I don't care if it gets a little messy. Y'all in my shirt. It says I'm kind of a big deal. At first it says I'm kind of a big deal, but I crossed it out so it says I am, I'm a big deal. I think y'all can see that unless I, yeah, you can see it. <laughs> this is one of my favorite shirts. My mother gave me this. I just wear it whenever I work out, which I'm going to do after I get done making this video. During quarantine, I like to go for hour walks before it gets too hot. And guys, I'm trying hard to get it close to my hairline. Because the Vaseline, wherever you put the Vaseline, is going to keep it from um, transferring to your skin. But you still got to get close. Because if you don't get close, then the front of your hair won't be colored. So, yeah. Let me get that little piece right here. And guys, uh, once you get um, the dye, get done using the dye, and guys, this is good enough. Like if I had longer hair, I'll probably need two of these, but I'm only going to use half of this. So I am actually going to put it inside here, the box. And also, do not leave these unattended because they can explode over time. And you shouldn't leave it in the container for a while without using it if it's open because I can destroy the potency of the product. Wow, that was a lot of big words. <laughs> but, um, yeah. 
And I also put this in there too and then throw the, the whole thing away. Except for the um except for the conditioner. I'm back. Oh no. I'm back. So now I wanna take my gloves off. Don't drop the gloves. Can I get any on me? Just a little bit. So yeah, guys, I'm going to let this sit on my hair for a while. And sometimes I do half the time because it looks like it's it's like done processing. So instead of leaving it on for 25 minutes or 20 minutes, I might leave it on for like 15. Because my hair is textile, so it's going to absorb the dye a whole lot better. Because of the pros prosity. Pros per per yeah, that. Okay guys, so I'm back. This is how my hair turned out. It's a soft black. It came out exactly how the box had indicated. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not happy with it. Cause um I normally get jet black, but the soft black, I don't know, it doesn't really do anything for me. Um But it does work. I wish I had got the jet black, but they didn't have any more at Walmart, so I had to get the soft black. But, um, I am actually going to use a black rinse, which is semi, so it's not going to damage my hair. Um, and that's, and this is Jet Black by Adore. So, yeah, um, I'm going to use this on my hair. I'm not going to show you how I do it, but, uh, it's not that hard. And guys, this doesn't stain as bad as the permanent dye can. And now you see that the Vaseline helped. I don't have any, like, markings showing um, stains uh, on my head because I used the Vaseline. So yeah, guys, I'm going to use this. I'm going to come back. I'm going to apply it just like how I applied it the first time. Okay? All right.